Well, we are still cruising down the road. We are uh, just uh, north of Cedar City. So we're gonna stop down here in Cedar City at uh, one of our partners businesses. We're gonna stop at Sneak Tech and maybe get a little look around at Sneak Tech and uh, have a little chat with uh, with them and then we'll get back on the road so we will show you a little bit when we get down to Sneak Tech. here with uh, Jim Durfee from Sneak Tech and he is going to tell us all the new and exciting cool stuff that they've got going on here at Sneak Tech um, including these cool Sneak Tech boots that they have made some uh, new improvements to. We have, we have, we're really excited and for those of you who have, have already used and enjoy the Sneak Boots, thank you so much for giving us a chance to be a part of your hunts. Um, we love hearing back from you. Uh, feedback has been amazingly positive. And we believe that's because we're offering something that no one else has, and we're excited that, that it helps you. Yeah, a great product. We, Joey and I, have used it this last year. Uh, we got introduced to it about a, what a year ago. Yeah, and uh, used it on his deer hunts, and man, it was they, they were awesome. Loved they are. The shoes. You know, kind of a funny backstory is uh, the gentleman that invented these. Uh, my friend and partner, his name's Mike Barrick. He worked on these for almost 10 years before we came out with them. Wow. And uh, to go into his basement, it's almost like the, the show Hoarders, <laughs> but it's fabrics, it's foam, and all the different boots leading up to what we've got cool. right now. It's really like kind of history neat. of the whole thing. It is, it's pretty neat. Very so he, cool. he's worked hard on them for a number of years. Um, but with that said, there's always a process of trying to make something better. Mm -hmm. And you take his history of working on it year in and year out, trying to create what we have, or at least what we started with, and we've taken the feedback that people have come to us with and we've been able to evolve these boots to an even better place than where they were at before. Cool. So I appreciate you giving me the chance to, to show you a little bit about what we have right now and uh, some of the improvements that we've made to these awesome. boots. The, uh, <clears throat> the original sneak boot that came out, we actually had a liner to it. You can see the snaps that are on here. We had a liner that would connect to these snaps and um, what we ended up doing is, is we, we went away from the liner but doubled the fitness of the fleece that's okay. here for our So was that boots. liner like a like a disposable? It was at that point, yeah. Okay. That, was a great, okay. that was the idea of it, is as you would wear through it, you could just throw it away and start all over again. Um, now, by taking the, the feedback we received from customers, we had a few people that, that the liner came off at it when they were on a really heavy slope, mm -hmm. and there was a potential for someone to get hurt. And luckily, we never had that come yeah. up. Yeah. But we wanted to make sure that, number one, you were quiet, and number two, you're safe while you're out there. Yeah. So we were looking at different ways that we could eliminate uh, the potential of somebody getting hurt. So we got rid of that liner and doubled the thickness of the fleece on these other boots. The other thing that we did, as you can see on the back of this, there's a zipper right here. Now, this oh, zipper, yeah. a lot of people ask what this zipper is. All it is is an access port for us. That's where we put the foam inside the boots. Slide it in. Right. So what we've done with our new boots is we've taken that zipper and moved it to the center. And I'm going to show you right here in these oh, boots here. Cool. This is also the unpackaging situation here. So oh, sweet. when someone orders the boots, they come just like just like wrapped that. in plastic. Come out of the plastic. <clears throat> And we have, instead of having a mesh bag around them that they used to come with, we actually now have the elastic. Like it. Yeah, it, it was, again, feedback we received yeah. from people that in that mesh bag, sometimes it would get a little bit bigger and take up the room, get sideways, sideways and everything. This That's elastic cool. strap keeps them nice and tight. And every one of the boots come with carabiner. Oh, wow, so nice. You clip it to your pack Boop. and you'll be in a good spot there. Like it. So with these boots, uh, again, to the zipper, in fact, we put the zipper on the inside right there now. Um, the primary reason for doing this is with these older boots, with the zipper in the back, that's where your heel pressure is. Yep. And very, 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 very small, I can't say very enough because it was a super small amount of, of emails that we got saying, hey, I'm a bigger guy, I put too much pressure on this heel and the zipper came out, what can we do? Gotcha. And so with this new model, 
by putting the zipper on the side, there's virtually no pressure on that whatsoever. Yeah, your it's toes or your heels, right. hardly ever in the middle. That's a good right. idea. So we put them there. The other thing that we did with these new boots is, this is the inside view. If I took this boot and turned it inside out, you would see the webbing oh, through here. Oh, okay, cool. So this webbing, now as you see here, inside. goes all the way around it. So all directions, from the toes to the heel, it all comes around to that center piece of webbing there. And the purpose for doing that is it now takes the pressure off of these seams. When you're yeah. pulling on this really good and tight, you're pulling all the all way around, around it. it. Yep, and so for guys that have had the situation of, of having a seam come out on these boots, that's not gonna happen anymore. There is a lot of strength to it. We've also doubled the thickness of the Trico fabric on the top. So between these two fabrics now having a stronger bond and then putting the webbing all the way through as a bulletproof piece right there. Nice, new, nice, nice change of that. We are extremely excited about this. And the fun thing about it now is, is we believe that we're at a point with these boots to where we're ready to start looking for partnerships at the retail level too. And it's amazing how many archery shops have sent us emails. And in fact, I just got three yesterday, <laughs> believe it or not, which has been fantastic. Wonderful. Saying, hey, we want to sell the boots. And yep. so it's worked out really well. Well, I'll definitely be talking to the archery shops up in our neck of the woods to tell them to Perfect. look you up. Perfect, would appreciate that. Very cool. We, uh, one more thing that we've done too that we're really excited about is we have created a, a line of boots that is made right here in the US which awesome. is exactly where we want to be. There's some great opportunities here for people. The other thing it allows us to do by manufacturing them here locally is it's, it's quicker to market. Yeah. So when we come up with a new idea, we test it, we find that we like it, we can bring it out right at that point. If we're having it made overseas, sometimes it takes a full year, 18 months to have an idea come to fruition and make true. it available. Very, very true. And if there's minor changes that need to be done, right, real fast. Yep. Yep, so we have top-notch people helping us out here, manufacturing this stuff, and they are really, really good. I see that there's a new, there is. new clip system. We love this. It's called the G-Hook. Um, I don't know if you can see that very good um, with the camera, but it is a little hook with an open end to it. And the guys in the military are used to a piece like this because okay. it's a quick adapter. It comes in, goes on there nice and tight, and then we ratchet Crank it down. It down. Yeah. That's so fast. So the whole idea is that word you just said, it's fast. We've had some people say, ah, it takes me too long to put it on. I get it, I understand it. Once you put it on one time with our with our sneak boots, you have it figured out from yeah. there now. Yeah. But what we did is we eliminated a ton of stuff that would normally be on the top of this. So you slide your boot in, this comes over cinches it up and you're good to go. Cranks it um, You used the word crank. I'm glad you used that <laughs> word because we used a piece on here for guys that are doing just that, cranking it. We're guys. Get it on time. We're not easy on stuff. <laughs> so these little G-hooks um, are actually metal reinforced. Yeah, you can see that. There. That's very so cool. the whole idea is once you get into those really cold times of year, it can make plastic pretty brittle. Yes. So now having this metal on there, we can get in there and Distill a word you use, crank on it. And get it as tight as you need it. Yep. The other thing we did with this is we eliminated a zipper altogether and we've created a little oh. pouch on top. It's kind of a little kangaroo pouch. Yeah. A quick access for us to get the foam inside Slide of there. Slide your foam in. Yeah. Um, US made um, fabric on these two, fantastic flex fleece um, that we're using, and we could not be more excited about the top quality fabrics being used on these these boots. Awesome, awesome. These will be ex available exclusively from our website, that's sneaktech.com. Okay. Um, these boots right here will be available on our website and through the archery shops. Okay. So, so if they want the new with the with the G-hook on it, mm -hmm. they gotta go to the website. If they're really worried about quickness and accessibility, then this would be the way, and they can go through our website. The, those uh, we can find in archery shops, maybe Cabela's, Bass Bros. And, and cool. are bulletproof. Awesome. They awesome. are, they take the history of what we've done that's been successful, added on suggestions, and we are extremely excited about those boots right there. Very, very cool. So, anything else that you got coming up that's going to be blowing our minds or can't give that away yet? <laughs> there are a lot of things actually coming up. Um, <clears throat> and it's exciting things, you know. There's This industry is, is one that People don't have to do it, they want to do it. Correct. And so we've got to help by creating products that people want to own. Yeah. And and uh, once they own them, they realize that they had to have them because <laughs> it, it's helped them. And that's the position we want to be in. So right now, yes, we've got some things coming down the pipeline awesome. that are not just boot related. We're uh, There's a couple of 
I'll, I'll say, but I won't let everything out right now. But we're going to move on beyond the boots, too, and, and we're really excited for what's coming. Very good. Very, very good. So if you have any questions, you can be found on Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, Facebook and SneakTech.com. SneakTech.com. Sneak <laughs> and check out these sneak boots because they're really awesome.